There's breaking news tonight in the Wall Street Journal that seems to speak either to President Trump's insecurity and vanity or to the White House catering to perceptions of insecurity and vanity or concerns about it. The White House, according to the Wall Street Journal, demanding that the USS John McCain, the warship, be out of sight during the president's visit to Japan, not for any military reason, just because they didn't want the president to see the USS John McCain, his name on a ship. The, later, the late senator's daughter, Megan, just responded on Twitter, quoting that now Trump is a child who will always be deeply threatened by the greatness of my dad's incredible life. There's a lot of criticism of how much I speak about my dad, but nine months since he passed, Trump won't let him rest in peace. So I have to stand up for him. It makes my grief unbearable. Joining us now by phone, Rebecca Ballhouse, who shares a byline on the Wall Street Journal story. Um, I, Rebecca, the story is bananas. The White House actually requesting the USS John McCain be out of sight during the president's visit. I mean, if true, and from all the reporting, it certainly seems to be, it sounds like one of the kind of smallest, pettiest things I've heard. Well, I think it's fair to say that it was something that really stunned a lot of the officials who were on the receiving end of the directive. Um, we've reviewed uh, some emails that were exchanged between uh, various uh, Navy commanders and officials for the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, and both sides really seem taken aback by the request, even the person who was conveying the request from the White House military office. So, so you've actually seen seen the, the, the emails or the, or the directives, however they're sent. That's right. We've seen emails where there are officials who are relaying the White House military office's uh, request that, that the USS John McCain be out of sight. And we know that following up on those requests, there were a lot of check-ins to make sure that steps were being taken. It seems like the ship could not, in fact, be moved altogether. But there were a lot of steps taken to make sure that the name itself was obscured on well, the vessel. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the things that is just so nuts, is that uh, a tarp apparently was hung, according to your reporting, well, a tarp was hung over the ship's name, but sailors on the ship who normally wear caps bearing its name were given the day off during the president's visit. I mean, is that accurate? That's right. There seems to have been a couple of different attempts at, I guess, getting what the uh, White House seemed to want here. They, we know that they initially hung a tarp, I believe, on the Friday before the president's visit. It seems that that tarp came down at some point uh, over that weekend, and they subsequently moved a barge to be closer in front of the ship so that the name was obscured that way. And we know that sailors were also directed to take off any coverings and, as you said, not to be working that day, in which case they would almost certainly be wearing caps that said the name of the ship on it. So it seems like there were a couple different stabs at this. The tarp fell off, so they moved a barge to block the name from the sight line. I mean, it's I, this is incredible. The, the acting secretary of defense, did, did he sign off on this? Well, to me, that was really one of the more stunning details in the story, even, was that he uh, was aware of concerns about the presence of this vessel and did, in fact, approve measures to ensure that, uh, that I guess, seeing this ship was not going to interfere with the president's visit in any way. So I don't know exactly which uh, measures he did or did not sign off on, but we know that he was certainly aware and participating in In, in one of the exchanges I read in your article, uh, it, basically, the, the response from, at one point, the, I guess the, the White House office is saying, make sure item number three is followed through on, and item number three is this. So this was a high priority. That's right, yes. And the fact this can't, I mean, I don't even know what else to say about this. It's just, it's, I mean, I don't know if it should be surprising or not, but it's just, it's another day.